Hey YouTube! So we're here at one of my favorite thrift stores, Community Thrift. And so let's grab a card. We're going to do something a little different today. We are going to start off in the purse section. One of my viewers requested that she wanted to see the purses. Actually, she asked to see the purses in Salvation Army, but today is Wednesday, so that means Salvation Army has half off on jewelry and half off on clothing, and I could not find anywhere to park in their parking lot, so we're going to be doing our thrifting today at one of my faves, Community Thrift, also known as Amvets. So let's start off over here in the purse section. But these little clocks here caught my attention. Very cute. Very cute. I was looking for the size on here. I didn't see the size, but they want $12.95. And I think I could buy a new pair of shoes for about that price at Burlington or Ross or somewhere like that. So I will leave those. And now over here in the purse section, this is not really my area of where I usually shop. And so I don't quite know what I'm looking for. So if you are that viewer and you're tuning in, let me know what I should be looking for when I'm shopping in the purse section. I see a lot of Vera Bradley here. Um, I know that, you know, of course, if it's a name brand purse, it can be quite valuable like Michael Kors or Coach, Vintage Coach, things like that. But what do you look for when you're purse shopping? This is a really nice leather bag. Let's see who makes this. It's a vintage leather purse. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to find the tag inside to see who the maker of this purse is. It says made in Mexico. It doesn't say the maker. Um, but I just wanted to come over here and give you guys a view of the purses since one of my viewers requested um, that I show the purse section. So here we are. Like I said, it's a lot of Vera Bradley over here. And I know that once upon a time, I used to see quite a bit of those for sale online. So I know that those are quite popular, but they have a lot of them here. Um, I really like the color on this purse. I think it's faux leather. And I like the way they have their purses hung. This is a neat little pencil case. Or not a pencil case, I think. Let's see. Okay, so it's a bottle holder. Maybe you can clamp this on your bike or your backpack and it holds your bottled water. And let's see. I really like the color of this little backpack here that's something that my boys would like a lot of little makeup cases and makeup carry bags i love the color of this little corduroy bag here they want 9.95 for that um they want quite a bit for these purses and i think some of the prices you might be able to buy you know a new purse for the price that these purses are sold for and these aren't um name brand purses so to speak i really like the color on that purse we have some mofo leather here some little company bags now i was taking a look at this purse um the little logo on it i thought it was true religion i know it was a little far-fetched they wanted 6.95 so i had to just try to take a look inside to see if i saw the mark um, or the label to see what this bag was of course it was not true religion but the little symbol looks similar to the true religion symbol and on through the rest of the bags we have a lovely little um beach bag woven beach bag here they want $8.95 for that beach bag and then over here are the wallets this is a cute little beaded purse and let's see what they're asking for it they're asking $4.95 it has a little beaded strap 
And I really like this little backpack, little backpack purse, very cute. $7.95 for this one. It's in really good condition. And now for those of you that sell bags that are resellers, what do you look for when you're out purse shopping? Leave me a comment below. Another little makeup bag or jewelry bag here. Some more totes. Another one of those little beaded purses. Very cute. They want $5.95 for this one. This one has a little rope loop. I really like the green on this purse. A little crossbody purse with a uh, metal um, gold tone strap. And they want $4.95 for this purse. $14.95, I'm sorry. Which is not too bad, but... I mean, a little much for resale, um, being that it's not a name brand purse. And now the purses are located in the back of this store over by the kids section and toys. And now we're on our way over here to my favorite section, the knickknack section. And this is a cute little ragdoll fall theme um, type scarecrow girl. Maybe she could go on your porch. Very cute. And now starting off over here in our knickknacks, look at this little lady. She's bringing in the harvest. Um, she has a beanbag feel to her. She's $5.95. I believe it's white tag. And uh, white tag is half off today. And so um, we'll try to keep an eye out for white tag items. This is a cute little trinket box. They want $2.95. It's pink tag. And these sell really well. And so I will get this little um, trinket box here. And then I see some cute little salt and pepper shakers. We'll come back for those. And let's take a look at this beautiful little porcelain geisha. Very nice and very lovely condition. Only $1.95. So I will definitely grab her. Now, while I love shopping at this thrift store, I notice a lot of their items are very dirty. So I always have my hand sanitizer um, with me. Um, back to the salt and pepper shakers. They want $1.95 a piece. But um these don't really stand out too much to me, so I'm not going to get those. It's a cute little um, doggy here in a raincoat. It says April. I see there is a big uh, bell collection. This little doggy here, he's $3.95. I'm not quite sure what he is. It looks like an Easter egg shaped doggy. I believe this is an Avon, a vintage Avon piece. They want $9.95. For this little angel, she has her, her dress is golden, almost shaped like a Christmas tree shape. And this little silver and glass heart trinket dish. I'm not quite sure if this is real silver. They want $4.95. It's orange tag, but um, I'll just leave that. And then this little, um, I believe this is Anchor Hawking. Okay, it's Pyrex. And it is a butter dish, a clear butter dish. And some more bells. Let's look down here on the bottom. Make sure we're not missing anything. Um, this is a nice little egg. It was very heavy. I'm not quite sure the material on this little Easter egg. Uh, $4.95 for it looks to be gold plated and then we also have a vintage salt and pepper shaker here $3.95 I don't see the other one to it cute little frame here $1.95 and so I just take my time on these shelves because they just have a lot of little things sprawled all over Another one of those little clowns. At least he's smiling. Little butterfly painted frame. I 
And I see that mail truck there. I'm loving the color. Sister Share Hearts, very pretty. I like this little truck. I believe this is also an Avon piece. They want $7.95. And I think this may be worth paying it. It's an aftershave bottle, a vintage Avon aftershave bottle shaped like a mail truck. Okay, and I see a little bud vase in there. We're going to take a look at that here in a moment. I'm just looking at these little knickknacks here. $195. This cute little pelican ashtray. Too bad he's broken. Very nice little piece. I really love this beautiful little bud vase. $1.95. Very nice little bud vase. I always pick up the little bud vases if they're in good condition. I really love those and they sell really well. Little X and O piece, $2.95. And this is some hand blown glass. Some of it some of it looks a little broken. These oyster shells, they sell quite well. It has a little blue heron and they want $10, $9.95. That's a little much for resale. And then these little princesses, Disney princesses, uh bells. It looks like two of them are missing their little dinger inside, the little crystal dinger. This is a pretty little piece. Not so vintage, though. $8.99, and they want $4.95 for it. If you guys are enjoying this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. It does not cost you anything. I appreciate you guys being here, especially the ones that have already subscribed. Thank you guys for tuning in and going thrifting with me. Now, this is another one of those uh, glass blown pieces. Um, they want in one ninety five, so I'll put it in the cart and do a Google search to see what something like that is worth. All right, so I like that little. Um, unicorn bill but it had a company name on it this is another one of those little avon cars this one is not too rare i've seen ones like that before a little scissor cut out piece that is framed 95 cent one of the things that I like about here, their prices are really good on some of the smaller vintage items. But sometimes you have to apply a little elbow grease and do a lot of cleaning. I love this little bell made in 1985. That is my year. But the dinger is missing inside. This is a little rubber piece. May have come off a shampoo bottle or something like that. Cute little Easter bunny. More collection of bells here. Cute little bear and dog. This is a very vintage little bell. Another one of those cranberry colored bells this one doesn't have the year on it and then these are some little snow babies this is a very cute little piece but the arm on this snow baby is missing and this looks like one of those uh, flower frogs they want $2.95 for this one but it's not so pretty I don't really like the way that one looks. And now we have a collection of roosters here. This one looks like he was holding some salt and pepper shakers. They're only wanting $2.95 for him. But he's missing the salt and pepper shakers. 
and then we have a cute little trinket box here a little bunny trinket box they're wanting $3.95 green tag which I think that's a little much for a small little trinket box well a little much for resale We have a train here. I really like this little swan piece. It looks to be wood, but it's ceramic or porcelain. I believe it's ceramic, but it looks like his beak is broken right here. And they are still wanting $3.95 for it. And I really like these little roosters. They're wanting two ninety five for this one. Now I did not pick this one up, but I probably should have. This is a false graph piece. It was very crazed and had several little chips on it. Looks to be a little trinket box, and then he has a repair right here at the top. Now this is a very vintage little salt and pepper shaker. He was very greasy. Um, they wanted $1.95, has the original stopper made in Japan. Little scratch right here in the back, but not too bad. I think I'm gonna put him in the cart and see if we can find the other one. Another little rooster here. I like the glaze on him. They're wanting two ninety five. Some little angel uh, candle holders, and look at that little collection of polar bears. We'll look at them going on the other side. This is a little music box. I like that umbrella. They're wanting fourteen ninety five for that little piece. $7.95 for this. And these little polar bears are so adorable. $5.95. It's so funny because that is my little baby's nickname, polar bear. So when I see little polar bear figurines, I'm always so compelled to pick them up, but I don't want to develop a polar bear collection. <laughs> Some little pumpkins here. Spoon holders. I miss that little um, basket looking apple that was right there in front of my face. I didn't get a good look at it. And so we have a little painted rock here. And now on down to the little houses. We have some little ceramic gingerbread houses here that look like real gingerbread. This little wax dolphin piece. And some more little um, houses at the bottom. Some little rooster trivets. And some cute little Easter bunnies. And then some little wood clogs. These are vintage. They're one in $3.95 each. And these are quite grummy. They, they really need a good cleaning. I'm not up for the task, so I did not pick those up. They want $10.95 for this cute little girl in her tutu. $2.95. I really like this little vintage gnome piece. It says here, made in Japan. They want $2.95 for her. She's terracotta, but she also has some glaze on her shoulders. And this cute little gold dinosaur planter here. Another little salt and pepper shaker. There's only one. They want 95 cents for that one. Some more little teddy bear figurines.
Another cute little teddy bear with an umbrella. Okay, so their knickknack section is looking a bit scarce today. But, I mean, we're finding some pretty good things so far. Some more little teddy bears. Little girl sitting on her pillow. Look at this cute little bunnies on the piano. $3.95, but this little bunny's ears are broken off, unfortunately. Some more little clogs. We have a cream and white one. This is wood carved. There's only one, $3.95. And then we have a blue and white one here. Looks like this was a part of someone's collection and they had them hanging on the wall. But I like to buy them in sets. It's an interesting little canister. Another little individual pepper shaker here some little bunnies down there i believe those are made of felt cute little teddy basket some more of these little houses someone lined them all up there Some more of those um, porcelain geisha pieces up top, but those are a little larger. It's a little llama snow globe. Now, I really like this salt and pepper shaker. They only want 95 cent for it. Very cute. So, I'm going to see if we have another one, and then if I find another one, I'll come back for that one. $1.95 for this cute little Avon trinket tray. This is a very pretty little tray, so I'll definitely grab this in very good condition. Now, I like this little round Santa. He is so cute. Let's see how much they want. $2.95. Some more of those little um, dinosaur planters. This little T-Rex is kind of amazing. They want $7.95 for this. Some more little Christmas trees and cute little basket. A little doll inside. Oh, now I really like this orange pumpkin. I believe this is um, an Anchor Hawking pumpkin, a vintage glass pumpkin. I'm definitely going to pick up this piece, $5.95. I wanted to try to put it into view for you guys, but I'll really show it to you guys in my haul. I found another one of those salt and pepper shakers. Yay! So I will go ahead and take this set. And some more bells over here on the other side. Now here are those little polar bears that I was telling you guys about. They want about five to six dollars. Four ninety five for that one. So I think it depends on the base that they're sitting on. They're very, very cute. I can't see the brand because they have the tag listed over them. If you're familiar with this brand, put it down in the comments and share it with us. So we have some more little vases, some more bells over here. Some bag shells. Some more little vases. I like this little uh, paper napkin holder. I like the little vine on there and the glaze on it. Very nicely made. 
but they want three ninety five for that. And I know I like to stick under the five dollar range when I'm out thrifting, but it just depends on the value of an item and what I can resell it for. Um, so even though some of these items are under my five dollar range of what I like to spend, I still need to be able to make a profit. And so sometimes if it's not worth making a profit, then I will leave it. And now these are some cute little sake bowls or either sake or teacups or maybe bowls. I really like the design on them and the color. I'm trying to bring them down without breaking them because I can't really reach up that high with the camera. So they're $1.95 each. There is two orange ones and one white one. So I'll show them to you guys in my haul. I like that little pottery plate. Cute little teapot there. And now I'm going to come over here and look through the little baggies and see what we can find. A lot of times we can find really awesome things if they're not broken. Some more little vintage salt and pepper shakers, napkin rings. We have a little boat here. And let's see, we have some little shoes here. Unfortunately, you can see that they are broken. We have some little ice cream cups here. I like these little tomato plates. Very cute. Very cute little plates, little saucers. Right, we have a little boy in here and some little tree hangings. They want, I think these are Hallmark pieces. They want $1.95. Some more little dove napkin rings. And then they have another end cap over here that has the baggies. So let's take a look over here. This is a cute little teapot and mug. The watermelon. And this is another one of those little candles. The lighthouse. Now, I really like this lighthouse salt and pepper shakers. This may be false graph. I'm not quite sure of the brand. It has it marked on the bottom. But I have to do a Google search. But they both have stoppers and they're in excellent condition. So I will grab those. Some more little uh, sake cups and a little sake uh, bowl. Now these are vintage magnets. And they want $2.95. So I think I will get this. Some little bone measuring. That's a little, another little sake set. Some more of these little vintage magnets. So I think I'll grab both of these bags of magnets. Sometimes when they have the little baggies, you can find little treasures inside. So I really like when they have items bagged up. I really like the color on these. They say made in Japan. And then they also have a marking on the bottom of the little sake cups. I love this color blue. So I'll grab this little sake set. Some little bear salt and pepper shakers. Sadly, they are all um, chipped up has a lot of damage to the head and the ears but these are such cute little salt and pepper shakers and then down here at the bottom we have another little sake set we have some wine bottle openers here and these look like some glass test tubes 
another sake set here this one is very pretty and it has four little cups but i think i'll stick with the blue one and there's another white one with two cups but i'll stick with the blue one and now we're over here where the larger vases are pictures as well as the wood section we have some more little santas over here this is a very nice piece it was carved wood santa some baskets and now these little wooden pieces here they are totem i know these are carved in jamaica they want $6.95 for it, which is a little much for resale, but I have one of these guys that I purchased over the weekend thrifting, and I paid $1 for it, so I was hoping these would be a little cheaper, and then I could sell them as a set, but that is a little too much for me for resale. Another little wooden box here, and what I've noticed um okay this is a cute little truck wine and liquors and as you can see inside it has the coasters very cute for 4.95 but um what i was saying is that i noticed that when you're shopping in the big city like tampa when you're doing thrifting things are a little more expensive then when you go to a, a more rural area like Ocala, I was doing some thrifting at the Salvation Army in Ocala, Florida. Maybe next time I'll take you guys along. But the items were about $1, $2, way cheaper than what I can get items for here in the city limits of Tampa. This would make an awesome plant stand. You can sand it down and paint it. They originally wanted $12.95 and they marked it down to $4.95. This is a very beautiful um, little vase. They want $3.95. It says made in Japan. Very beautiful vase. So I'm definitely going to take this um, little vase. And I was just checking it for chips and cracks and we gotta find some room here in my cart just want to make sure that items don't get broken on the way to the register cute little bill and we have some glass bottles here and this is the bathroom section where you'll find all of the soap dishes and soap trays try to squeeze through here all right here we are and this is the candle section on this side i was really liking these little sunflower uh, candles precious memories candle holder mm, i thought this was one of those little hats but it was a candle holder. And we have some more little wooden pieces here. This is a beautiful um, candle holder. They only have one. And they're one eight ninety five for this one. have a little jewelry box here some more little wood carved pieces some more cork set we got the Santas on this side this is a very lovely um, scene here for $4.95 it's very chipped and cracked and it's a nativity I love the flowers on that vase. This is a very interesting lamp. Very mid-century. Look at this little guy here. 
he looked like he was some type of um, liquor bottle or either perfume bottle, maybe made by Avon. On this section is where all of their um, plates and dishes are located. And now I spotted someone has hidden these little Avon cars over here. Six ninety five. These don't go here. Someone put these over here. And this is a black one. They want ten ninety five. We have a green one here. It's missing the top to it. Maybe they're coming back for them. So I'll leave them there. But again, like I was saying, this is the plate section. I found some really nice items here in the past, but I don't want to get anything too large today. Very beautiful crystal uh, pineapple there. And now we're in the clear glass and um, drinking glass section. We have some little shot glasses here. Very beautiful green glass, recycled glass, $1.95. I forgot my black light at home again. So I got to remember to put it on my keys or put it in my purse to bring it next time. I really like these little three olive shot glasses or the color scheme, $1.95 each. This little ice cream cup here. There's only one. And so here we're looking for vintage glass. We have some Durango steakhouse glasses. Durango's used to be a uh, restaurant here in the Tampa Bay area, but they've recently closed down all of their locations. Maybe a few years ago. Some more clear glass and now on to the mug section footprints in the sand mug and of course we're looking for otagiri and any other mug that looks beautiful and that's worth reselling this is a cute little mug 95 cent for that Hey guys, so thank you so much for sticking around for my haul. I am sorry that the video cut off so abruptly. My storage is full on my iPhone, so I got to delete some things, delete a few videos and get some more storage for you guys so that that won't happen to us again. But we'll get right into my haul because I don't know how much storage I have left over. So I'll start off with these pictures that I got. So I got this vintage frame here with dried flowers and it has a little signature at the bottom in a wooden frame. I paid $1.95 for this one. Very nice says Island Flower Pictures, Friday Harbor. So of course I'm gonna do some Google searches to see, you know, get some more information about this piece. So I got that. And then I also purchased this piece that you guys did not get a chance to see for $3.95. And it is also signed J Good. And it has another little label down there at the bottom. But the frame just needs a little cleaning. But I really like this parrot theme. And then it says on the back here, a Lambert production made in USA, Brooklyn, New York. And then also St. Louis, Missouri number 151 it has a little water damage on the back but not too bad a little string here for hanging i mean not too bad for the price 
And so I'm gonna do a search on this to see what this little piece is worth. And it looks to be original. So I'm gonna do a few Google searches to see. And then I'm just gonna put this over to the side because I don't want it to get broken. And then I'm gonna bring up the other photo that I purchased. And so this is the other piece that I purchased. And of course, like I said, I'm gonna do a Google search to find out more about it. It was $3.95. And then the frame just has a little damage right here in the corner. But other than that, it's a really beautiful lacquer frame in very, very good condition. And let me let you guys take a look at the back. Just a little water damage right there, but very nicely framed. And so that's another really nice piece. And I'm gonna put it back down here to the side so that it doesn't get broken by my little one. And then I don't know if you guys saw that I picked up a few baggies of magnets, of vintage magnets. And so these are the magnets right here that were in this first baggie. And I know you guys see that I have the paper down. I have the paper down to protect my little thingy here. I use this to stage my, um, to stage my items when I'm reselling. All right, so we got disconnected again there. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, I put the paper down just to protect my, my little cloth here. Some of these pieces are very dirty um, from sitting on the shelves at the thrift store, very grimy. Um, I have to wash my hands after thrifting. Um, so I put this down just to prevent some of the grit and grime from getting on my, my little cloth here. And so I bought this beautiful vase. I have a larger one similar to this. I have had it since I have begun thrifting and reselling. Surprisingly, it has not sold, but this one was just so beautiful, only for $3.95. And then this one actually says made in Japan. And so I believe the other one is made by the same maker, also made in Japan. And so I may, pull that other one off the shelves and then restage them and list them as a set. What would you guys do? Tell me what you think. Leave it in the comments below. And then I got this little Avon piece. It looks like a vintage mail truck. As you can see, it is very, very dusty inside. I'm gonna have to get in there with a Q-tip and do some cleaning because I don't wanna dip it in water and make the original sticker come off. And so I'll use a Q-tip and get in there and get to cleaning. And I'm guessing this was filled with either aftershave for men. Yeah, it says Deep Woods aftershave. And then I paid $7.95 for this piece. It was so cute and I just love the color blue. So maybe that was a bit much, but I just didn't want to leave it behind. And so um, back to these magnets, as you can see, I paid $2.95 for the horse magnets. And these are vintage horse magnets and they all have different little sayings on them. And so I just may sell the lot on eBay and just put, you know, vintage horse magnets, but I paid $2.95 for these. And this one is a kitty one. There are two types of people in this world and I don't like them. Very cute. And then this is the second little baggie that I got. As you can see, this magnet has a little crack in it, but I still don't want to throw it away. It looks like it's being repaired. Still, you know, it's not broken and I don't want to throw it away. So I'm going to list it in the lot and then I'll just list that one of them is broken and I'll just mark down the price. And this one I especially like. I'm not sure the meaning. Cavilia, very cute piece. It's like the raised glass. I really like that. And then this one had six magnets and the other one had eight magnets. And then this little chicken, I paid, uh, well, rooster, I paid $1.95 for it. And it's a salt and pepper shaker. And I originally put it in the cart, hoping that I would find the other one, 
but I was not able to find it, but I just could not leave this little guy behind. Still very vintage, very rare, made in Japan, has the original wooden stopper. And so he was very greasy. So I'm even getting some grease on my hands now just touching him. So um, since he doesn't have a sticker on him, I think I'm gonna pop out the stopper and I'm definitely gonna dip him in some uh, soap and water. And then I got this glass pumpkin. I believe it's Anchor Hawking. I have not um, seen any markings on the bottom. I'll take a better look when I take the tape off. I always find the clear ones like this, but never the orange ones. And I think this one is very pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna list it for sale or if I'm gonna keep it for myself. I think I'm gonna keep it for myself. I don't know, but I really liked it and I could not help but put it in my cart. And then I got this little angel piece here and she's playing a little heart. She's a trinket box. She has the little golden bow clasp. And then she was $2.95. I haven't been able to look at the bottom. I haven't peeled out the sticker. This is the inside. These sell very well for me, so I picked this piece up. She's very adorable. About three inches. I'm just zooming in so that you guys could get a good view. And then I picked up this little lady right here. She was $1.95, and she looks like a geisha like a geisha dancing. And I know Otagiri, um, Otagiri and um, Otagiri mugs and pieces like that are, you know, very in right now, but also these geisha pieces and those dolls, the geisha dolls, they are very in right now. So this was a really nice piece for only $1.95. No chips or cracks, no damage to her very beautiful piece i really like this and then i purchased this baggie for 195 and it contained this little sake jug and then also the three little sake cups and as you can see they are very dusty so that's why i have put this paper down but they have a marking on the bottom and i don't wear glasses but i still could not read this like if you recognize this design or label please leave. it looks to be a volcano i'm not very sure but if you recognize this the this um marking on the bottom of this little sake cup please please leave me a message below i'm not sure what that is not the more i look at it it looks like a little volcano in a river but it, it it doesn't look like a signature but the actual jug does not have any writing on it but they came in this baggie for a dollar 95 as a set and i mean that's really awesome you cannot beat that i got this beautiful little awesome orange and blue Bud vase for $1.95, very beautiful. I really love the bud vase, it's easy to style. And, you know, put a bud inside, put with a few baskets to decor your home. And then I got this lovely dark blue. It may look like black on camera, but it's actually blue, Art of Choking Vase. And when I did an eBay search on it, I could only find one and they seem to be very rare. I know I can, I find Art of Choking at many thrift stores that I go to, but this is my first time ever seeing one that's a vase. And I mean, it's in really lovely condition. I love the blue and I love the shape of the vase. And it's $3.95, 24 karat gold etched, made in Japan. And then I got this little Made in Ireland by Caragoline Pottery, County Court. I don't know much about this piece, but just in time for St. Patty's Day. 
Very beautiful piece, marked on the bottom. Paid $2.95. I scourged the shelves trying to find a second one. Excuse my rice cooker, guys. I'm cooking dinner. And then I also got this beautiful little teacup here. And it says Villaroy and Bach, made in Germany. And of course, I scoured the shelves looking for another one of these. And look at that design. Very beautiful little teacup. Unfortunately, I can only find one of each of these two little teacups that I found. But very beautiful design. And then I found some more larger sake cups. It says made in Japan. And as you can see, it's a little dirty on the bottom, but I'm going to get these cleaned up. And I love that design on there. That beautiful orange. And it also has a little fluorescence to it. I don't know if you can see these little cups, even though they're dusty, they have a, a little fluorescence to them that I can see here in the light. But it's not, you, you might not be able to see it in the camera, but very lovely little cups. This was a set of two that were matching. And then this was the third. It wasn't matching, but it still had the orange. So sets of three sell better. So of course I picked this one up as well. I could not find a fourth to match this one. And I paid $1.95 for each, each one. And then I found this cute little garden gnome. $2.95 for her. And she must have come from a yard sale, then got donated. But it says here, made in Japan. I've never seen them this small except for at the Dollar Tree where they sell the little mushrooms. But I believe this is a vintage piece. And I have to do a little Google searching to learn more about this little piece. But she's very adorable. And then I was debating about buying these little salt and pepper shakers. They have some type of marking on the bottom, but unfortunately I was not able to make out what this says. Both of them have this marking on the bottom, but I don't know what it says. I'm gonna do a Google search, just a general Google search. As you can see, they're very dirty, just needs to be a little clean, but very cute. Very nice salt and pepper shakers. I really like the design. They almost remind me of Otagiri, just the type of um, porcelain that they are. Very sleek lines, some very beautiful pieces. Uh, believe it or not, I was gonna go to the Salvation Army today to do some thrifting, to do a video for you guys because one of my viewers wanted to see the purses but unfortunately, their lot was so full because they have half off on jewelry, half off on clothing, and I just would not have been able to get any filming done today, guys. So I went next door to Ambets, and I'm glad I did. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for sticking around for my haul. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you have not already. And thank you again, guys. And as always, happy thrifting.